Legal Shield makes wills simple because everyone has things, even you. Little things, big things, weird things, sweet things. A will helps things go where you want, not where someone else could decide. It's like a love letter to family and friends so they know what to do. One tap connects you with a vetted law firm to create a legally valid will, answer questions, and expect the unexpected. Passwords, social media accounts, last paycheck. Yep, it's all will worthy. For this, that, and the next thing life can bring, be legal ready with Legal Shield. everyone welcome to our will workshop i am nicole ivory with ladies of justice singer director for legal shield and today we're going to talk about how easy it is to set up your will for your family simple as one two three let's go ahead and get started i want to make sure everyone takes this time now to grab your coffee to get your piece of paper and your pen and take plenty of notes if you have any questions at the end I'll show you how you can message me so I can go ahead and respond to your questions. All right, let's get started. Okay, look at this terrible fact, you guys. Um, did you know that only 44% of Americans have a will? Yes, only 44%. If we were in school, this would be an F. I don't know, maybe a negative F, right? Because in school, they always used to tell us you have to have at least a 70 percentile to pass, to at least have a C. This is 44%, so America is failing. And so I don't want anyone who's looking at this presentation to be, uh, a, well, you can be a part of this percentage, this uh, statistics here, but I don't want you to be a part of the other 54% that are not, that do not have a will for their family, okay? And of course, this is by the gallup.com poll, and I'll have that link in the description. But guess what? We don't have to not have a will. People think it's so complicated. No, today we're going to show you how easy it is to secure one. So what are some of the other reasons people feel like, you know, why they don't have one or excuses they have, right? Um, some people say, I don't need it if I want everything to go to my kids. Um, my family members will take care of my kids. I don't have anything. OK, it's too expensive and takes too long. Well, let me come back and refute all of these for you, starting at the top. You know, I don't need it if I want everything to go to my kids. Hmm. Your heirs will have to go to probate court, which is expensive, time consuming and public. OK, um, my family members will take care of my kids. Well, we need to have that will so we can actually put that in writing. OK, so who would look after your children if both parents died? Would you want an ex to receive your estate? These are some things that we need to, uh, you know, make sure we put in the will, okay? Um, also, number three, it says, I don't have anything. Well, actually, everybody needs a will, okay? Um, and it just makes the process a lot easier. Sometimes people think they don't have anything to give, and then they find out, their family finds out, and actually they do. And then, of course, the last one here says it's too expensive and takes too long. I think this is one of the biggest misconceptions because we always just see the celebrity who dies and doesn't have the will. So we're like, oh my gosh, this is too expensive. It takes too long. You know, I just make six figures, or I just make 50000 you know? Um, but actually, Legal Shield makes it very easy, and it makes an option of responsibility responsibility versus a financial decision, okay? So now you can be that responsible person that you are and secure your family and protect them from any type of uh, probate or litigation that may uh, need to happen. Okay, so let's look at some of the, some of our people who have actually secured wills for their families. And just to let you know, we do business in both America and Canada. So first we're gonna start with our American member from California. It says, my husband and I have been waiting, or excuse me, wanting to get our wills done for years. Legal Show has made it so simple and the turnaround time was amazingly fast. Now we have peace of mind knowing we have things in order. Thank you for the prompt and courteous service. I would definitely recommend the service. I also have to agree with this California member. <laughs> um, I too actually created a will uh, with a legal shield. That was one of the first things that I wanted to do because again, I too have been putting off forever. And so um, I was able to do mine 
uh, via the uh, via email. Excuse me. They actually sent me, uh, you know, a copy, and then I just filled it out, sent it back, and then they went ahead and did everything for me. We had a couple of back and forth calls, you know, what I needed to do, and then the finalized will was emailed to me. I was. Uh, able to print it out at UPS store. And then, of course, I had the two individuals I needed there to go ahead and sign off on everything. And of course, with the notary there, easy peasy printed out copies for my other two folks there. And I have mine. So now we're good to go. It was that easy, very affordable. So I just have to second this California member. Next, from Canada, from British Columbia. Um, dear Legal Shield, I provided Legal Shield with the challenge of preparing a will in a few days as I was traveling for a month. They met the challenge and were able to help me leave paper signed just in case. I am halfway through my trip and enjoying the peace of mind. Many thanks. You know, that's a big deal. Um, I know I have used to travel a lot. I can't wait to travel more, right? But I remember I used to travel a lot and unfortunately people do die. They pass away um, on vacation. I used to see that a lot when I used to be on cruises, right? And so, you know, you don't want to be somewhere and pass away and not have all of your items in place. You don't want to be one of those stories, you know, that we keep hearing about all the time. And guess what? Legal Shield makes it very easy to where your name is going to be good, you know, for not only for yourself, but for your family in the event um, tragedy strikes, okay? So again, the good news, good news is Legal Shield makes it so easy. All right. And not only do we make it easy, we can start you on your way today. Yes, today. You don't have to wait tomorrow. You can either use our paper will questionnaire. Now, this is something that I actually send off to my clients via mail. And like I said, I actually received a uh, uh, email, a soft copy from my um, home attorney. Okay. Or I'll show you in just a few simple steps how you can use our app. And then that way you can just do everything in the palm of your hand, okay? So basically, so basically this app is gonna be for uh, those people who are actually members of Legal Shield. Very easy to become a member of Legal Shield. I will also drop this in the description section so you can just click on it and go. But what you're gonna do is go to nivory.wearelegalshield.com. You will go ahead and click the Legal Shield plan, which is $29.99 per month. Go ahead and sign up. They'll get you your member number easy peasy. And then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and download the app. Once you download the app, of course, you're going to sign in. Okay. And once you successfully sign in, you'll just follow these simple steps that I'm showing you today. Okay. So um, again, you're going to open the app and click easy to complete will and other questionnaires and then click estate planning. So you see here where they have the first circle, then you go to the second circle. Okay. And then we're going to go to step two, complete the general information. So it's going to ask you, of course, those general uh, questions like your first name, your address, your date of birth. And again, what they're showing you here is for the app on the left, okay, that you can use on your phone. And then, of course, on the right is going to be either that printed or mailed will questionnaire that I send to my clients or it's going to be emailed to you, okay, uh, from your home um, attorney office. All right, so they're just kind of showing you both ways in case, you know, if you have one of the, uh, the other in front of you. Okay, so step three, this is when we're going to put our spouse or partner information. So it's going to look identical to yours, except it's their information. And then uh, in addition to that, you're also going to put down the marriage date and location. So make sure you have that information handy. All right, step four, you're going to complete the dependent information. This is very important um, because you want to make sure that those dependents, those individuals that you are leaving, uh, you know, your assets to, that they are definitely listed on here, okay? So names, birth dates, you know, names and birth dates of grandchildren, your children, uh, if you have special needs children, uh, select the custodian. 
Also, if there's some disinheritance and special requests, you can put that here. Okay, so I already say everybody doesn't like everyone in a family, or maybe some people feel some people can't manage um, their assets appropriately. That's fine. That's up to you. This is your will, and you can actually put those special requests in these sections. So moving on to step five. Okay, so again, moving on to the asset section, this is where you're going to fill out, you know, items such as your real estate assets, motor vehicles, retirement plans, life insurance policies. And I have to stop right there because I am an insurance broker. And of course, I sell life insurance policies. And if anyone passes away, their beneficiaries will Auto, I shouldn't say automatically, right? But once upon um, the death certificate has been received by the insurance carrier in a timely manner, uh, the the beneficiaries will receive the death benefits uh, that you know will be bestowed to them as a result of that life insurance policy. That's great. That happens, you know, regardless of a will. But one thing that I do like here is the fact that they're still listing it in a will, so that everyone is aware of all assets that is available to that person. Sometimes what happens is people do um, get life insurance policies and then they never tell anyone, <laughs> you know, so they never tell anyone, you know, the insurance carrier's name, you know, the policy number and the amount of coverage. They just don't do it. And so then you have, um, you know, heirs just kind of, um, you know, trying to search and find out who is the uh, insurance carrier. And I mean, there's hundreds of them. People also merge, you know, uh, some insurance go under. So, you know, it's just great to have this information all in one place. So there's no questions um, in the event this information is needed. And then of course your investments and banking information should be listed on here as well. And now, which they don't have here, you may have to leave your crypto or your ledger information, right? So, you know, because those are assets on your um, your ledger and you may want to leave that information too for your, um, for your heirs because a lot of people have a lot of money on those ledgers. So you don't want it just sitting there when people can actually utilize that, okay? So now we're gonna move on to step six. So end of life request, okay? So this is really important too, because this is your life, okay? So this is, uh, I always say, this is where you may take a little bit more thought um, into this, but you know, it, do you have any special arrangements requests? Do you have treatment of remains? How do you, you know, how do you want your remains to be treated? Pet care, you know, pets are an extension of our family, right? So you wanna make sure that they are left with the most responsible and loving, uh, you know, household. And so you wanna put those items there. And then social media, this is really huge. You know, this is something that we really didn't have to worry about 20 years ago, right? But we have so much data out there now, so many different accounts that actually stay live, you know, even when people pass on. I know I personally see people's accounts and it makes me sad sometimes, you know, when I'm able to like tag friends and I see friends listed who are no longer here. So I know with Facebook, um, they do have it to where you can memorialize um, or I should say you can. Uh, I forgot the word that they use, but you can basically sunset your account, right? And you can give um, access to one of your Facebook friends who could be a family member or friend to be able to either manage your account if you wanted to keep it active or if you wanted them to retire your account. So at least they have that, um, you know, option with Facebook. But, you know, if you have other accounts, you know, you may want to have someone take care of those. I know personally, I have a lot of business accounts for my social media. So even when I pass away, those businesses will still need to be active. So that information needs to be um, listed in the will. So just to let you know, I'll give you a little bit more options there, but just definitely take this time here to think about how you uh, want you know, your pets to be uh, left in great care and how your remains you know, want to be treated. All right, and then step seven. This is the great part. Now you're finished with everything. It's time to wrap it up, submit it to the provider. They're gonna take a look at it. And like I said, if they have any questions, they are amazing at contacting you to make sure that all of the information is there. If there's anything else extensive, they will let you know what else is needed. 
Um, and so then once everything is finalized and you're good to go, they will send you a copy back. First of, the, first of all, they're gonna send you a copy to proofread, okay? And then once you say everything's good to go, you're rocking there. Now you can go ahead and print that out, get everything notarized, make sure you have those individuals there who need to sign off on it, make sure they have copies, make sure you have a copy, you know, put that in your legacy box, okay? I always have to tell my insurance, go to legacy. house so that way they know where to go to get those documents. Okay, and then a will questionnaire, okay? So all questions uh, applicable to you must be completed in their entirety. I do have the member services number there for those who are members, but it's been a great pleasure talking with everyone today. Again, I am Nicole Ivory, Senior Director with Legal Shield, and I'm with Ladies of Justice. Very excited to present this to you. Please go to nivory.wearelegalshield.com. Sign up for the Legal Shield plan. It's only $29.95 a month to secure your So I'm really excited. Thanks again for joining us. August is Make a Will Month. This is a time that we have set aside for everyone to, you know, definitely reflect on their beautiful family, the hard work that they have done to accrue those assets. You want to make sure, especially in this greatest wealth transfer of our lifetime, that you do not lose everything that you have built for your heirs. And so we're here today to help you complete your estate planning. Legal Shield is amazing. We have phenomenal attorneys who can help you with just that. Uh, and here, if you email us at contact at empireneurs.com, again, that's contact at E-M-P-I-R-E, N-E-U-R-S.com. I will also put that in the chat there. Uh, you can receive a copy of this estate planning guide. So it is 19 pages here. We're not going to go over it all today because it is rather extensive. But this is phenomenal, you guys. You don't have to do anything alone. You don't have to wonder if what you're doing is correct or not. You know, we cover uh, trust. Now, trust is not included in the membership. It is for an additional cost, but it can be done for you. Now, what is included in your membership is uh, your will, your living will, your power of attorney for both healthcare and finance. And when I tell you this is information that is needed, especially during these times, you want to make sure that all of your wishes uh, while you are living and then while you are deceased are honored. So this is really great right here. Okay, here are some items that you may have as assets because sometimes people say, oh, I don't have a lot of money in a bank or, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. But then when you start going through this, they're like, well, wait, wait a minute, I actually do have this. Um, so if you have real estate property, if you own any vehicles, if you have bank accounts, retirement accounts, IRAs, 401ks, pensions, health savings accounts, investment and brokerage accounts, paper certificates like a treasury bond, business interest, life insurance policies that we just discussed in the video, digital assets. Again, this is something new that's just going to keep uh, growing and growing. So you need to start thinking about what is going to happen to your cryptocurrency and cash reserves, okay? Because it does come with a lot of these uh, 24 passwords, uh, email accounts that you may need uh, to verify, you know, maybe your exchanges that you're listed on, that all needs to be documented. So that way it's just not sitting out there. You're, trust me when I tell you, in the upcoming years, your family will need access to those funds because it's just expected for inflation to continue to grow. At some points in the near future, we will experience even hyperinflation. So you want to make sure that they have access to the funds they need so that way they will not be affected uh, by those the inflation. Also, high value assets, including your artwork, jewelry, or rare coins family heirlooms, or sentimental personal property. I know I just cleaned up this weekend. I've posted some items on Facebook, but I found so much, you know, and a lot of this is our history. 
Okay. Don't just think of your life as just, you know, you're here one day, gone tomorrow. No, you are a part of history. And those special items are also part of history. And a lot of this stuff needs to be physically handed down from generation to generation. So that way they never forget who they are and where they come from. And then liabilities and debts, you know, sadly, this stuff still has to be paid. So this is just one uh, doc, uh, I should say one page in this 19 page document that I wanted to show you, but it is really rich in information. Again, if you would like access to this, please email me at contact at empirenewers.com and I will definitely send this over to you. So you're asking a question now on how you can become a member. So it's only $29.95 a month, which is amazing because we wanted to make sure that our product was affordable for middle America. We see so much sometimes that the middle class always gets squeezed out, but we want to make sure that the middle class does not lose access to their assets during this greatest wealth transfer of our lifetime. So very easy to do. You can just go to nivory.com legalshieldassociate.com. We just received new URLs. So I'm so used to saying nivory.wearelegalshield.com. If you put that one in, it's totally fine. It's just going to forward you here to nivory.legalshieldassociate.com. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and go down to Legal Shield. And once you do that, you'll see the plan for $29.95 a month. Now, of course, we do have additional supplements for our small business owners. Maybe you want to purchase a small business plan or our identity theft plan. Also for our truckers, we do have commercial plans as well. But for right now, for this particular estate planning, you can actually purchase a $29.95 legal plan. You would just simply add it to your cart. And then, you, of course, you would choose the state that you were in. So we're going to go with Arizona today. OK, and then again, if you wanted to do any of the add ons, you're happy to do it there or you could continue continue without additional supplements. And once you do that, it's going to add it to your cart. You just simply check out. It's just going to ask you your contact information and then your payment information. And you can simply pay with a bank account, either your checking or savings account or a recognized credit card uh, to go ahead and get that started. Now, once you do that, it's going to assign you to uh, a attorney office. You also will have access to your apps that you can always download. So we say tap the app. Okay. And of course, we're here to help you every step away, step of the way with your membership. We have a phenomenal team with Empire News Wealth Team and Legal Shield. If you even want to become an associate, you can also do that as well, just by coming here. Join the team. All right. We would love to have you on a team. We need more people to help us protect uh, Americans because as you've heard in our presentation, over half of Americans do not have their estate planning needs done. And that's really sad because now their family, everything has to go to probate. It's very costly, very time consuming, very, uh, uh, heavy with emotions. You're already sad about the loss of your loved one. Now you're having to go through litigation uh, for their assets. That actually is really your assets, right? Um, so it's just really sad. And we're here to reduce as much stress as possible. You know, it's, there's a big push on mental health. Not having your estate planning documents in order can contribute to uh, having mental health issues. So we're not here to add any problems. We're here to create solutions and for you to have a very fulfilled life for you and generations to come. It has just been a pleasure though, uh, speaking to you all today. Again, my name is Nicole Ivory with Legal Shield, and please contact me if you have any questions. I can also be, be reached at 214-865-8606 or feel free, free, feel free to email me at contact at empirenewers.com. You all have a wonderful day. Take care.